Hello everyone, this is Tina. How are you doing today? Uh, in this video, we're gonna talk about uh, query parameters. Suppose we want to have something to be filtered. We might uh, pass a parameter into our query statement, but uh, never do uh, concatenate on the query string. Let me show you, okay? Let me show you the bad way and I will show you the good way. So first is, uh, let me using the query parameters. Everything is same, okay, sorry guys. Suppose here we want to query based on the last name, okay. String uh, name, last name, uh, first name, last name is fine. First name equals, let me use in one example. Uh, I just uh, comment all of them. Okay, and uh, using John. Let's find John, okay? And uh, if I want to find John, how to do that? Where p dot, p dot first name, right? Let's copy. I don't know what, make mistakes. p dot first name equals then I have to pass this John here. How to do that? We do a query, um, con we concatenate on this query string, which is really, really bad because this gonna cause the SQL injection. How, what is SQL injection like this one? Suppose, suppose this is the thing. Get a, this uh, uh, first name is get a, uh, the, okay. This string value is get a from the user's input, and if let on user put something like this, John, and have an end, okay. He will put some. Uh, this is the value which works one right. Suppose user put something like this one, John. And then it's gonna have uh, like n or one equals one. So your your statement will become something like a first name John here, John, and have the end and the all equals one, will, which we are gonna cause everything gonna be returned. Okay, which is uh, all the things works. Okay, this is gonna be the true part. And if he will make some like a delete from person. Oh, this one fine. Okay. So if uh, it can do like this, because when you use all, it's gonna also execute this part, and it's gonna delete all the records from the uh, from your table. So this is uh, the not a good part because it can cause SQL injection. So not good, okay? I comment this one. Not a good, don't do that. And the better way is using the parameter to set the parameter inside. It's similar to when we're using JDBC, we're using prepared statement, similar, same, uh, same idea, okay? So here, we don't using this one. And what should we do? There are two ways. First way is using the uh, explicit parameter name and this first kind of like a placeholder and how can I set the value for this one we using query dot set a parameter and what's the string string is this value this is string first name and what's the value the value is the John which is this first name okay like this and now let's run uh, oh, I didn't, I'm sorry, I didn't, uh, I didn't uh, call this uh, query parameter. Okay. And uh, let's run one more time. It should have works, okay. So this is kind of like uh, explicitly you give a parameter name here and you can refer to it. Okay, you can see, because in our database, we only has one person with the first name is John. So only have one uh, person inside this collection. And this is the first way. What about the second way? Uh, I make a comment here, uh, not good. Okay, and uh, uh, 
first way named parameter. We name this parameter. Second way, let me comment, make a copy and paste. Okay. <laughs> then we comment this part. Second way is yes, using position. Second way is using position. Position. Okay. Yeah. Comment. Okay. Using the position. So instead of using this one, we're using the position. Your position first. Okay, do I give uh, uh, okay? And how to set the value here? We're using zero or one, two, three. Zero represent the first one, okay? Represent the first one, okay? And zero is the start index, okay? What's the Oh, what does this say? Legacy style. E no longer supported. Oh. Oh. You using what? Using. Yeah. Oh. I don't know this one. Okay. So. Uh, this. Uh, the, the, this kind of this is a legacy style query parameter and uh, no longer supported using JPA ordinal. Oh, now this is that I support. <laughs> Actually, I don't know. Okay, I used uh, like uh, several months ago, it didn't have this problem. So we cannot write it like this way. So instead, we have to give a parameter like one. So let's see if it works. Okay. It's good not using the legacy. I'll show you the problem using the legacy, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Now it works. Now it works. You, we have to specify a uh, index here. Let me try to use in zero, okay? So the API always changes. Oh my God. It still works. I can see the problem of using like this way, the Lexi style. The problem is suppose now, because when we're using this style, which means we start finding uh, we start referring this question mark using zero, one, two, three. So if in this case works, now I change this one. P dot last name, last name equals, okay, uh, question. And, and uh, previously my first name, the index is zero, right? And if I do like this way, zero means the last name right so it's not uh, good and uh, for the new version so we can do i think this one gonna be we can use in zero and last name is one we have a uh, last name is a door right we can set a value here uh, last name is door and uh, this position is using one okay okay so which can solve the problem I just showed now. Because if we're just using question mark, when you change, add a more query uh, statement of a where clause, then you have to change the position number. But if we leave a number here, I think we don't need to change the parameter here. Okay, zero still to be the first name. Let's see if my guess is correct or not. Okay, I hope it's correct. <laughs> Okay, my guess is correct. Okay, so see here now we're using the parameter to refer to the uh, person's name. Okay, uh, sorry, we're using the pri uh, index zero and one, two to refer to the position. Okay, uh, for this case, you can use in the name the query or you can use in the position because it won't cause the problem in the legacy styles anymore. 
uh, that's it for this video and thank you for watching and see you next time bye bye